Hey guys, it's Amy again. I'm trying not to talk too loud because my brother keeps annoying the shit out of me. Uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick another haul video for you guys. Um, sorry if this is a repeat kind of thing. I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore uh, my second video, I think, when I started vlogging about stuff. But the reason why is because I have no clothes to wear. Um, unfortunately, I've outgrown all of my clothes. I have maybe three or four pieces that I can wear that are very fashionable and very nice and feminine. So, hey, it's just another excuse to go to the mall, right? Unfortunately. But anyways, um, that aside, that's one of the other reasons why I haven't been online lately is because I'm either working or I'm getting annoyed by my brother and my father so much that I'm trying to get as far away as from this house as possible. In fact, I just recently got back from a five to six day mini vacation. It was technically a vacation, but instead of having a week or two off like the managers do, I was lucky to have five days and I took the 4th of July week off. So I had a great time. I wish I took pictures or some kind of video or something. I said I was going to and I never did. Same thing when we went swimming the other day. I just never got a chance to get my hands on my phone and my phone actually takes really good video it makes this video right now look a thousand times better because it's HD and everything but oh my god it takes so long to do it and I don't know how to work the camera completely so I know I would say that I would show you my new phone sometime soon but um, I'm, it's behind me and it's charging so let's just leave it at that shall we uh, some of the things that I wanted to talk about today would be uh, some new hauls that I've had. I recently went shopping today uh, to replace a lot of things. Oh my god, mostly food that my brother stole from me and never pays back. But most of it, about two thirds of it was food and then a third of it was just miscellaneous things that I kind of wanted to, you know, kind of tinker with or things that I knew we needed and might as well go ahead and get it and install it while we can. You know, just some family things that I know we needed like sugar and butter and bread and deli meat and whatnot and all that. But um, I did a huge haul at CVS lately so I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the physical stores and then I'll go ahead and leave the online shopping later. Uh, one of the physical stores that I went to today, of course, was CVS. They had great deals going on. Oh my god, I had like 80 coupons from online for them. And uh, most of the stuff that I got from CVS is nail art related stuff or nail polish related stuff. I got uh, buy two, get two free bags of uh, the super jumbo cotton balls, which I think are great they are just so huge i mean they're literally like this big of a cotton ball and then the walmart ones are like that tiny they're like super super small you know what i mean so but anyways something else that i wanted to try was usually cvs is the only place that i know of that has the se nail polish collection and i was looking for a new base coat because i'm out of base coat so i actually got this one by Essie and it's called Vanity Forest. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but Vanity Forest, and as you can tell, it's a very sheer kind of ivory pink uh, base coat, and I just needed a replacement base coat, and this was on sale for like five dollars instead of eight dollars. So that's actually a lot good, along with an extra fifty cents off coupon. So this was actually a really good deal for me. So I bought Essie, of course. Um, another Essie that I got, I didn't buy it at the same time, but I actually worn this two or three times. And oh my God, this Essie that I have in my hands is one of my new favorite colors for the summer and for the spring. And it's this color. I can't, I don't know if you can really tell what color it is. And it's got that sheen to it. It's a very pretty color. I love it. It's like a hot pink. Oops, wrong way. It's like a hot pink, only it's got a nice purple fuchsia shine to it, you know? And it's on Miami Vice. Or Miami Nice, my bad. Correction, Miami Nice, if you can even read it. I don't know if you can if it'll pick it up or not. But Miami Nice. And this is one of my all-time favorite new 
uh, nail polishes. I've been wearing this probably maybe three to four weeks and then I just recently had to take it off because when we went swimming the pool over at the apartments was really really chlorinated so I mean it literally turned one of our friends shirts completely bleached it he had like a dark green like forest green shirt and we were swimming for about two to three hours he got out it was like one of those uh, Texas Longhorn brown colors you know completely drenched all of the color out of that damn shirt I thought it was hilarious but he was flipping out and he was like meh don't worry about it but this is another color so Miami nice is one of my new favorite colors along with that uh, other color and then something else that I got was uh, I don't know why, but for some reason this nail polish just kind of caught my eye in the corner, and it was a uh, some kind of where it's by some kind of weird uh, named brand called Confetti or something. I don't know. I'll let you look at it. <clears throat> it's called Confetti, and if you can kind of tell, I don't know if you can really see it and tell, but. If, yeah, you can kind of tell. It's a clear coat, but it's got all these cool blue and green sparkles to it, and they're just amazing. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Oh my god, I love blue. Blue and green are my top two favorite colors. As you can tell by the wall in the back, which we're going to be repainting the room pretty soon. I just haven't gotten the money around to doing it yet, but I did get new curtains if you haven't noticed. But anyways, um, this is under Ice Ice Baby. Weird name, huh? It's a clear coat top, or a clear top coat with uh, green and gold and blue sparkles in it. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. I haven't even gotten a chance to use it yet. I did kind of swatch it on a piece of paper here, and you can't really see the glitter. So you're probably going to have to put like two or three coats um, on top of whatever color that you want it to be with, but it's not that great. And then I also swatched the Essie stuff, and it's like really, really super sheer, so you probably have to put two or three coats of that on too, especially if you want to do like a fringe tip or just a natural look for your nails. So anyways, that's one of them, Ice Ice Baby by Confetti, which is kind of a weird name for a nail polish, won't you think? And then um, something else that I got at CVS uh, was two more nail polishes. I know this is like nail polish mania, but uh, they're scented nail polishes from the Revlon collection. And here they are. I don't think you can really tell what colors they are or anything, but this one right here that I'm shaking and turning upside down, this one is uh, under cotton candy, and it really does smell like candy. Oh my gosh, this one smells exactly like cotton candy and I love it. I did a swatch of it and it's one of my favorite smells so far. And I bought it because it was something that I could put on top of the Essie and be like, hey, you know, come on, what person doesn't like to smell your nails? <laughs> Lots of love. Anyways, um, I got it because it was like a pink nude color and it has like a small finish to it. It's a little shiny or a little shimmery, but uh, I love it because of the smell, most of it. So that's one of them. And then the second one that's here in my hand is a little bit darker. It's more like a beige color, so it's not as, you know what I mean? It's not as nude and sheer. It's a little bit darker and it's got a yellow undertone to it and it's under peach smoothie. And this one smells just as good. If I had to choose between cotton candy and peach smoothie, I would definitely choose peach smoothie. It's one of my favorites. So, and it's kind of the same thing. A little darker, if you can tell. And it's got some bigger chunks of glitter in it. But other than that, I wore it recently and then because my brother kept griping to, for me to fucking do the damn dishes, it, my nails got ruined, so I had to like start all over with a clean slate. So, but those are all of my CVS uh, buys that I did recently. Um, oh, there's something else I bought at CVS that I forgot to say. Um, I don't have the outside to it, but it's uh, these cool stickers that you put on your nails. I don't know if it's gonna let you see them or not. And it's really cool. It's actually pretty neat. I'm trying not to let the glare get onto them. But um, I tried those too, and then they got ruined. So, unfortunately. This thing was only like three bucks, I think. Which is a pretty good steal of a deal too. Um, something else that I recently got, I don't have. 
Uh, I found some other things that I needed to talk about, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, go to the next store. After CVS, I went to work, of course. What person doesn't shop and take advantage of 15 to 25% off of everything in Walgreens? Um, nail stuff that I got is actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now. And it is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Without a Stitch, which is a beige color, again. <laughs> It's just a, it's practically the same color as my hand, if you can't tell. Whoops. Yeah, practically the same color as my skin tone. So, and then I'll just put my nails up, and then there you go. I thought about maybe, just maybe, putting some kind of white accent or something on it, on them. But I gotta say, they actually look pretty nice, just the way they are. I mean, I thought about maybe doing a French tip or something, but I might just leave them as they are because they'll go with anything. Oh my god, they just make your hands look so much more elegant and so much more natural. At first when I saw it, I was like, you know what, I kind of don't want to buy it, but I don't have anything by this line yet. All of the Sally Hansen ones that I have are the Hardest Nails ones, and don't get me wrong, those are great. I love the Hardest Nails line, but the, so the Complete Salon Manicure, it's like the one that has the 5-in-1 in it. It's a top coat, it's a strengthener, it's a no-chip resistor, and uh, amazing color, and whatever the last one is, and I was like, what the hell, might as well just get this one and give it a try. And it's actually really good. So, and it's about $2 cheaper than what uh, Walmart and CVS charge them for. So, hey, that plus 15%, can't really beat it. But I really like it. I just think the name's kind of stupid. Without a stitch, I mean, I really just don't get the inside joke of that. So, but I really do like the color, and I'm thinking about maybe wearing it on my toenails too. I haven't done my toenails yet, but the reason why is because dumbass brother David wouldn't stop bitching about the damn dishes because while I was gone, the boys ate everything in the house and dirtied up all the dishes. I mean, literally, there were no plates, there were no bowls. I was lucky to find forks in the drawer, but there were no spoons or anything, no knives, no steak knives. You know, and I was like, oh my god, I've been gone for a week and neither one of them found the time or the respect to just get their fat asses up themselves and do the fucking dishes. I'm not their mother, I'm not their wife, I'm not their damn girlfriend, I'm not any of that crap. This isn't the 50s, why the fuck do I have to do that? Ugh. Anyways. Back to the haul. Sorry about that. I had to really relieve myself of that stuff. But anyways, another thing that I got was actually uh, the Kiss Nail Art Painter in just white. And it's the one that, um, let me take the top off here real quick. It's just the one that has that really thin uh, brush on it. Except for I don't like the formula to this stuff because it's just way too thick. I mean, I'd be okay with using this as a dotting tool maybe, but other than that, well, you can't really see it. I wouldn't use it on anything else, but it's it's okay. <laughs> I just thought that, hey, it's white, so why not, you know? And the cool thing that came with these is, is that they got a whole array of colors of these, and it comes with these two little um, uh, things, thingamabobbers, where you can just stick them on your nails, and then they just, uh, create all these cool little things. You got butterflies, you got hearts, you got stars, you got crowns, you got a uh, little skull and crossbone over here, I believe, and I just thought it was really, really cool. So that was actually worth it, and they were on clearance for $1.99. Originally, they're like $3.99, so come on, can't really break that up. Uh, something else that I got was two... Revlon lip products at work. Um, they're both uh, lip glosses, but it's not the one that I'm wearing on. I'll show you guys the one that I'm wearing here in a minute. And they're these two. I got a short one and I got a long one. Uh, this one is in the color Papaya, and it's okay-ish. It's a nice kind of corally orange color that I thought I kind of needed, but when I put it on, it just really didn't match me. So I definitely need to find a lipstick or a lip stain or something to put under this. Because if you just put the lip gloss on by itself, it just makes me look really orange and eh, I just don't like it. So it wasn't a waste of money. I'm just saying I need a little bit more time to kind of fill up with it, you know? 
Um, I do have a lip color that I got from work, I think. I love the smell of this. It smells so good. It smells like watermelon punch. It smells so good. And this is the color. It's kind of like a shinier version of my natural lip color, you know? And it's uh, by Milani, and it's their HD lip color. Whatchamacallit? What's it called? Um, sorry, I thought I heard something behind me, but it's HD lip color uh, in Romantic Rose, and I love the look of it. It's a nice little pen and everything, and like I said, I love the smell of it, but the problem is is that this was the lightest shade they had, was Romantic Rose, next to a very, very bright pink, which I didn't really want to get because I usually always get pink, so I just wanted to get this, try and ignore my brother singing outside because he knows I'm doing a vlog. So. I like how it looks, it looks like a nice little pen and everything, and I love how it smells. And it really does last a long time on me, so definitely a must-have by Milani. And then I have a Milani blush, too, that I've showed previously, and it works pretty good, but it's just got so much fucking glitter in it that you have to, like, take your ring finger or your pinky and then just kind of dab it on your cheek and then take your kabuki brush or whatever and just buff it out. But anyways, um, I also got a Revlon Clear Gloss in, it's just called Shine City, and it's kind of like a shiny uh, clear lip gloss. I don't think you can really see it, but that's basically what it is. It's just a clear lip gloss with tons of sparkle in it, and I've actually worn this two or three times, and it actually does a pretty good job. It kind of makes my lips look a lot fuller than they really are, so that's actually, hey, that's actually kind of a win-win situation for me. So, uh, another one that I got uh, at work is a new product. It's a new, new product, which means we just got it in like two or three days ago, and I just felt like trying it, and uh, Jennifer Lopez has been kind of doing it. It smells good. <laughs> it smells like vanilla, like vanilla cookies, and I really like it. Um, it's a good color. It's by L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Lay Gloss. And it's actually really cute. I really like the coloring and everything to it. And then there's the color. You can really tell without the shine to it. And the color is in Raspberry Splash. And I really liked it because they did have a coral pink color, but it was so bright and bold that I thought it would just wash me out because I'm so pale, you know? So I wanted to go a little step other above that, so I went ahead and got this. I've worn this two times. I have to say it's really, really good, but it's one of those colors that you have to put like a layer on top of, you know? I'm trying not to make the video so long, but it's definitely a must-have. I think they're $8.99 right now, and like I said, they smell really good. They have a lot more colors on here, including a clear color that really is literally just clear. There's no glitter or anything in it, and they have amazing shine power to them. So if you're definitely a lip gloss girl, I highly suggest that you go with this. It kind of just disappears into the back, doesn't it? Because it's practically the same color as my new curtains. But anyways, that's from work too. And then lastly, from work, <laughs> Uh, is the In Color by Jordana Lip Shine Natural Glaze in Watermelon Punch. And it's what I'm wearing right now. If you can really tell, it's kind of got a lip tint punch to it. <laughs> Wrong end. I love the smell of it too. It smells like candy. And I just love the brush. It's got a brush applicator to it, if you can see it. And I really like the brush applicators because you have so much more control over your lip gloss. And um, you're able to really like just spread it out to whatever evenness you want it to. And you can just put just enough on there or you can put more on there if you want to. And it just really makes a huge difference. And I absolutely love this. I've worn this all day today ever since I bought it earlier. And it is amazing and I absolutely love it. Sorry, I have to move something. Something popped up in the middle of the screen, and now I can't see what I'm doing. So, and lastly, what I got uh, store-wise recently, I'm trying not to make it too long, is uh, a brush that was by the Imani Vegan, um, what's it called? 
Imani uh, mineral makeup line and usually it's in the Dillard's or in the Bell's clothing stores and it's the Imani vegan foundation brush normally these brushes are probably around like 24 24 50 which is actually pretty high for a brush I was really lucky and then I just happened to see a table full of this stuff including brushes and makeup and everything and I just happened to get the brush for $7.99 it went from $30 down to nine bucks. That is an amazing score. And I got this about two or three weeks ago. And it is so soft. Oh my God, I love it. How soft it is and how you can just easily buff everything into it. And it just, oh, it feels so amazing. I love this brush so much. Mm. And it looks amazing too. It really does. It's got great feature into it. It's kind of got like that nice flat top or round dome top and yet it's got a nice thickness to it and I haven't cleaned it yet but oh my god I've used it for the past two weeks and this thing is in great shape for two weeks worth of use of blush and foundation so it's just amazing really it is just for minimal mineral powder and everything I also got an eyeshadow for like four dollars I think and normally those things are at least 20 bucks but it's in black and I just don't feel like showing you guys the uh, other we're almost done we're almost done I'm trying not to make it as long as I can but um two more things that I got were actually the uh, little replacement dishes from uh, Mac and uh, they're two eyeshadows and they're both satin finishes one of them is uh, and I'm wearing both of them right now one of them is a highlighter one and the other one I'm wearing as a crease color the crease color is shale and it's kind of like a nice sort of I don't know like shiny cool gray lavender color it looks gray from afar but when you look really close to it it's actually a lavender color and it's got like purple and pink shimmer to it and I really love it it's one of my favorite new crease colors in fact I love putting this as a crease color and then putting uh, this color as my lid color which is quarry and it's a matted color and it's kind of the same thing only it's a matted color and then you've got the satin version of that is shale so I love pairing those two together they're my favorite pair of all time and then of course the second one that I have is actually um, I call it like a dupe or a sub substitute for a uh, naked lunch but uh, it's called rice paper and it's kind of a beige beige shimmery color if that's the best way to say it and I really love this too I use this as my inner corner and my brow highlighter all the time and sometimes when I just feel like crap and I really don't want to put that much makeup on I'll just take my finger and swirl it in there and then just wipe it all over my eyes and then add like a little bit of uh, a brown uh, liner on and just smudge it out and it makes an amazing substitute for naked lunch and I haven't bought naked lunch before but I have been to Dallas and tried it and it's way too shiny for me so I chose rice paper instead because rice paper is a little bit darker it's not as BAM you know and it doesn't completely white out my eye or anything because I have such a pale complexion you know so I just didn't want that to happen but those are my two MAC recent buys and then also um I went ahead and bought some brush cleaner I was out and the other one that I got from uh, Sally's uh, salon store was just way too strong it was ruining my brushes so I went ahead and I paid eight bucks for this and this stuff actually works really good so thank you to Beauty XX Goddess and Sarah Bell 93 I believe they're the two who actually convinced me to buy this uh, Mac brush cleaner so I'm actually very happy that I got it <laughs> And finally, I think that's all of my haul that I can show today. Um, I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got recently. Also, um, something else that I got was a book, but I really don't know if you guys want to see it or not because I'm kind of running a little long on it. But anyways, might as well. It's... Um, now you guys probably have heard of the book series and you probably heard of the actors who played in the movie from the book series it is the circus du freak by darren sean and circus du freak 
is a very popular uh, teen series of books. There's 12 books in all, and I actually started reading this uh, series when I was um, in high school. I think I was either a freshman or a sophomore when my best friend Justin introduced me to it, and oh my god, I was obsessed with it. It's about these two kids. This is actually the graphic novel version, which is a little different. It's like you got the regular book version, and then the first movie came out with that guy who was with Will Ferrell and Taldig and Knights. I don't remember the guy or the actor's name, but uh, I was kind of a little disappointed. I was like, I was expecting somebody a little bit different to play Krebsley, Larden Krebsley, but they got that guy instead. I don't know why. But anyways, I was really addicted to this book series, and then I never got a chance to read book 12, and then my best friend went and bought the book for me so I could read it. And it's actually a really good series. Um, it's about these two boys who happen to be best friends. One of them, I believe this one right here, if you can see him in the brown hair, his name is Darren Sean. Who would have guessed the lead character is actually the same name as the author Darren Sean who's from London I believe in England and uh, he's obsessed with spiders and then his best friend who's right here behind him is Steve I can't remember his last name but his name's Steve and um, he uh, is kind of obsessed with finding a vampire and turning into a vampire because he wants to be a monster so bad. I don't know why, but then um, they accidentally uh, find out that uh, Larton Krebsley has this pet spider named Madame Octa. And then being uh, Steve's best friend, Darren Sean, is absolutely obsessed with spiders. He loves everything about spiders and he wants a pet spider so bad. And his last pet spider died. It was a tarantula or something. So he steals Madame Octa from Larden. He tries to train him. And then when Steve comes over to visit him one day, this is all happening in the first book and also in the movie. Um, whenever Steve comes over to check out Madame Octa and what Darren can do with him, uh, Madame Octa accidentally bites Steve and she's very, very poisonous and puts Steve into a coma. So Larton makes a deal with Darren Sean that if he becomes his assistant and becomes a half vampire, he will give Steve the antidote and cure him of Madame Octa's poison. So they do all that and then this whole journey starts from there and then um, as part of the deal as being the assistant, he has to travel with um, Mr. Krebsley everywhere because he's half a vampire so he has half of the abilities but he's also got some advantages and disadvantages compared to Larden Krebsley and it's a really really good book series and I actually really encourage you guys to read this book it's an amazing book and everything but this is the uh, graphic novel as you can tell and it's got some good graphics in it. I really do like it. And I've already read this book. This is book one, and there's a second volume. And I just recently ordered book two and, uh, my bad, correction, uh, book three and four. And it goes all the way up to book 12. So it's actually a really good book series, and I highly admit that you guys need to read it. Um, you don't have to read the comic book or the graphic novel version of it. You can read the regular book series, and it'd be just as fine. Or if you just want to you know, YouTube around or something here, then I'm sure you can find dozens of trailers and clips from the movie. And that is going to be all for today. So I did buy some new books and stuff, but that's a whole nother type of video. I hope you guys have a great night and I will be talking to all of you very soon. Feel free to uh, compliment, give me ideas, give me your opinions about things or anything else of that matter. The, all the links and descriptions will be down below in the down bar and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!